talk more about this unicycle. I've had it for about a month and I know I've seen a lot of comments. Um, sorry I didn't respond back to you guys. But um, I'm going to put this visor up to the side. So, about this unicycle. It's very heavy. I live on the first floor and taking it upstairs, get it. I need to use an, an elevator for this. It is 60, 65 pounds. It's quite heavy. And I bought all the equipment. So what I'm trying to say is, my God, I have to think about it. It's like going down the stairs, wearing your equipment. I mean, I don't need to wear this equipment, but I bought it. Might as well use it. I thought it looked cool. I like the helmet. But it's like a it's a serious conscious effort to I'm gonna go downstairs with the unicycle. I need to wear my equipment, use the elevator, and then I go. And the, the amount of places I could actually park this thing is actually limited. Or going to the store, it's uh, you have to. It's like a lot of work to to use just to use this. So, and also. Thing I don't like about the V11 uh, HS probably won't be an issue with the HT version, the high torque version, is the braking. The braking is odd. I've put this thing at 100% braking, 100% speed, because I want the maximum usage of this. But braking is a bit dangerous. It's it's just like when you want to stop, you really have to stop completely. It's like if, if there's like one or two miles per hour and you're, and you're slowly going and you want to come to a, a dead stop, it takes a while to go to a dead stop. Let me show you. So I'm going to go a little fast over here. Do it one more time. I showed a little demonstration. Braking, it's like you gotta break 100% to max to make it stop. So, and also braking takes a long time. It has a pretty strong motor. It's 16 inches, but the braking, it's like you, you gotta get used to it. Maybe I'm in, I, I'm spoiled with the V10F. It breaks immediately. It's very responsive. Maybe it's high torque, you know, for that size. But this thing, just like it thinks, it just, it's not thinking about it, but it just, it's just so slow. I need fast response. It also makes it less pleasurable for a unicycle. You want immediate response. You want to go fast, you're thinking about it. it there's a delay in, in, your, in your kinesthetics, you know? Like, I want to go this, I'm going to stop now. Okay, and then it doesn't give you that in, in, immediate, immediate response. It's just like, it's just too slow. It's, it doesn't, does it, then it becomes a disconnect between your body and the unicycle. It's, it's, not, it's not good. I, I, it's not natural enough for me. So, probably gonna return it. Not, sorry, sorry, I can't return it, but I'm gonna sell it. So, so I think that's the deal breaker for me. The, the responsiveness, probably the HC has no issue. Good for you guys for actually 
getting the HC. I have no experience with the HC, but with this HS, I thought there'd be some amount of torque in there because it's a 16 inch wheel, you know, and it's a 2,500 watt motor. Is, isn't it strong enough? I guess not. It goes pretty fast, but oh, let me tell you, let me tell you, the speed, let me get closer to the camera. The speed feels dangerous. Like, unlike the V10F, I don't know, it just, it wobbles a bit, this thing is. And when you're going really fast, and, and I, I mean, I'm, I'm a bit of a, of a wuss. I only went as fast as 65, four, sorry, 45 miles per hour, okay? Is, no, actually, no, 45 kilometers per hour. So it's half that. Um, but, but it just wobbles and it leans. Or maybe it's because of my pads, but it just seems to want to lean over. You have to really fuse your, your legs and your to, to the frame. So I'm not used to that. I it just I think you, if it was a larger wheel and had a larger mass, actually, it would be safer. This is pretty heavy, but the, the wheel mass, you know, the gyroscopic forces, it's it's um, I guess it's not enough. You're better off with like an 18 inch to and up for great stability. And also, I feel you actually do need the um, the um, we call it spring spring um, um, shock. You need you need shocks on a unicycle if you're going that fast because any small little crack on the road causes trouble. You f it, you really jump at, at those high speeds. It wants to fly. And when, once it goes like, you could, you could like fall on this side, this side, and or whatever. Without a shock, it, it doesn't dampen any of the floor at high speeds. It's like, a, it's almost a requirement. So if I were, were to get a new unicycle, it gotta damn, gotta have some shocks in there. So two things. So to summarize, the braking sucks on this thing. I mean, if, if you have the patience, sure, this is great. But if you want the immediate innate response like you do on, say, the like the, my experience with the V10F, it immediately breaks when I want it to. This thinks about it. Thinks about it. That's a, that's a bad way of saying it, but it thinks about it. And then, and then like, the, ooh, the turns. Wait, wait. The turns. It's a little bit wonky with the turns. Uh, so there's a lot of things. Wait, there's a lot of people. Yes, there is. Um, this one. Got to take that up. It takes time for your for your brain to register to the machine that you want to stop. It takes, and also you need to come to a dead stop when braking because. I had I have scratches on this thing now, right here. Scratches here. How did that happen? Was it from a high high speed crash? No, it was from a low speed where I was on the sidewalk and I wanted to brake, but it had some speed left, like going at three miles per hour. This this thing, this thing kept on going, and I really and I had no no choice but to let it fall. And it just and it kept kept spinning, spinning, spinning. It kept spinning, spinning. How's my how's my helmet? Really cool looking, looking gear here. I'm gonna keep this for the, for the next unicycle I get. So I'm sorry. I'm sure this is a good machine for somebody else who has the patience of a saint, of a priest, perhaps. But for me, it's still kind of, it's still new, it, with some, some scratches, and I hope it finds a new home for somebody. Professor Bobby, signing out.